what is this whole contract thing is all about yeah okay it's a it's a classic uh, question and, and a confusion or a dilemma that a lot of project managers also have uh, I'll, I'll take a step back you know um, and I, in, for the sake of simplicity, I will um, refer to the buyer's organization's project manager, and that also relates to the uh, PMI uh, and PMP terminology. So the moment a project decides to buy, you know, uh, a project manager understands that uh, we need to buy, we need to procure or source. Your legal and your sourcing team becomes your key stakeholder right so the moment you decide that or even if you feel that there is a high possibility high likelihood of of uh, buying stuff from external vendor or engaging in an external vendor you should immediately reach out to your legal sourcing uh, and on and i would say also put them in your stakeholder register explain them <clears throat> what do you need um, and don't stop at that you know uh, what do you need is is just the scope of what you want to buy, maybe service or a product, but also um, educate them on what is the impact, what is at stake if you're not able to get that delivered by your uh, vendor, whoever you select in the future. You know? So the entire picture of where that scope of the work that you want to buy sits into the business uh, organization what is at stake for the business how is it impacting your organization's roadmap that should be aware because that will also decide uh, what kind of contract you would uh, legal team will recommend you based on what education of what information you give them now project manager is not a lawyer project manager is yeah, maybe you might find some lawyers who are project managers, but not all. So you're not expected to draft the contract from the scratch. 